Hey, if you're looking to make a change, consider working at AD Transport. Also, check out my video. I'll put a link right up here called The Five-Year Ring, where I talk in depth about my time here at AD Transport. All right, I'll leave you the contact information here. If you do give them a call, please tell them that Steve Ridgeway referred you. Uh, I'd appreciate that, and let's get back on with the show. Ajwain, Ajwain Biscuits. I spent the night in this little Sunoco people from India bought. And so this morning I got up and I went in to grab a coffee and uh, I thought, man, you know, I was, I was just kind of walking around looking and I saw Indian food, Indian snacks, I guess, more than anything. And so I looked at a lot of different things and I decided to go with these... Uh, Ajwan biscuits, biscuits de Ajwan. We have such a diversity of cultures in this country. I think it's a shame uh, not to try some of their stuff, you know. Uh, they have a Indian restaurant here, and I should have went inside and maybe shot a little video, but uh, I'll give you a location. Maybe you can check it out yourself. I didn't go into the restaurant and eat. I just, just I went inside and got a coffee and looked at these things so I'm gonna try one here in just a sec there we go one hand on this bad boy got a broken one so I'm gonna go for that here we go Ajwan biscuits they're very different they're not real sweet. That's good. Um, I don't know. I can't decide. It, it kind of reminds me of my grandpa's. Uh, my grandpa had a garage. And uh, he worked on trucks and tractors and stuff in there. Well, that's what's coming to mind when I'm eating this thing. So, but it's good. Don't be afraid to try some stuff. If they put a shelf out there, they're inviting you to try stuff from their culture. So, alrighty. Yeehaw. It was recommended to me that I come to this place. It's a little noisy here. I'm in Union Grove, North Carolina. And this is the burger barn. Also in the throes of Hurricane Nicole. There's a 1841 out there. This is unbelievable. I'm gonna actually run around to the other side. It looks like it's pretty full in there. So I'm not real thrilled about that, but hey, we'll get her done. See what happens. So far, this is a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Um, the kitchen is a lot bigger than the, than the restaurant, the dining room. And it appears that a lot of people come and pick up carry on. So, anyways, everything is uh, a la carte, I guess. Very good. It's like my coffee. 
who came in here. It's like everything is to go, which is cool. So we got the egg sausage. Good some gravy. Plenty of stuff going on back there. I gotta say, the kind of the tables and stuff remind me of uh, Wobble House. My soul comes out of there. You're gonna go real slow with your pepper. That's like uh, from the 40s. But anyway, I guess we'll get right down to the business in the end. And have uh, try these biscuits and gravy. They're pretty darn good. It's hard to uh, hard to mess these up. Behind the camera is the counter, and there's a window into the kitchen, and everybody is uh, trying to figure out what's going on here. So you get a lot of stairs. Scary. Anyway, the coffee's good. I'm afraid to try and cut my sausage because I have a. I just have a plastic fork. It's the plastic fork is not as tough as this sausage, so I'm gonna do it the hard way. Here. making eating biscuits and gravy difficult with a plastic fork. A metal fork would have been cooler, I think. Kind of a different atmosphere here. It's, uh, you come in and get everything that you're going to get. You go up to the counter and order, and you kind of work your way down the counter. And then you pay at the end, and then everything is like set up like a cafeteria. So it's uh, a little bit different. No waitresses working out here. There's a lady working at the counter. Another lady came out cleaning the tables up. So it's Kind of nicer to have waitresses running around and seeing if your coffee's working and stuff like that. But I would imagine this is going to be my only coffee unless I order another one. Which I guess, you know, they got a business model that works for them. That's cool. The sausage is. Uh, Good, but like I said, I'm afraid to break my knife on it. Quite tasty. I was worried this morning that I was going to spend too much time in here. So I, I raced in. I can see where it's not going to take very long at all. I think everybody knows everybody in here. It seems like you know, we're you know, kind of in this up, so everybody's friendly. To the locals, anyway. Pretty proud of them. As you can hear. But it is. 
is a whole lot of local guys getting ready to go to work, though. That's, that's what I'm saying here. I'm not really seeing where to put my tray when I get done. I don't know if the girl comes out and cleans the table. Or if, uh, if I need to take care of it. I guess I'll ask her. Oh, there she is. People are coming and going like crazy. I spent the night here. And so I feel a sense of obligation to buy some of their products. So I think if I was to come here again, I would come and get my food to go, and I would go out in the, in the truck and eat because it's not a it's a cafeteria. It's very friendly and personal here if you're a local, and I think everybody in town comes here because now it's I mean it's been so far all. All men in this last five minutes, two women have come in. So, but it's it's all just to grab something and leave. So, I think that's I think that's the secret to this place. And they're thorough. They make sure you got everything. The tables are equipped with the necessities. So anyways, I guess at some point in the game I gotta shut this off and uh, start doing my egress. I'm gonna finish my coffee up and see what time it is. Time to be early. A lot of people hanging out outside waiting for their food and standing around each other's vehicles and talking. Steady line of people. It, it, uh, it really hasn't slowed down. The only difference, the only difference, is the amount of people in the dining room sitting down. Most people, they come in one side and go out the other. I don't think I've seen anybody pull into a parking spot. On, uh, the east side of the building, they just drive up beside and get out. Of course, like I said, we're in the throes of Hurricane Nicole, so everybody's probably trying to not get too far out from the building so they don't get their hair wet. You know. A lot of a lot of crafts people, a lot of trucks with toolboxes and trailers with toolboxes. This is like a working man's cafeteria. Not designed for you to spend a lot of time in. That's for sure. Oh, there's a big truck now. Doesn't matter what you're driving, you just pull up on the side of the building. But this place, this place, it doesn't slow down. Just, uh, I figured it was going to be pouring rain by the time I got to the truck. It's not raining and it's very comfortably warm. I'll throw a picture up of the hurricane where it's at in comparison to where I'm at and uh, you'll be able to see. Uh, it's going to be crazy here this weekend. I got a feeling. So anyway, this is the back side of the burger barn. The burger barn. I don't know what city it is. 
I read it on the front at the beginning. But anyway, uh, kind of a cool place to go if you don't want to spend a lot of time. If you're not looking for a lot of interaction from the wait staff. I did notice um, that they got, there were some guys that came back up to the counter and got refills on their beverages. So I guess they do give you refills on the beverages, but they don't, um, they don't bring them to you. You got to do everything yourself. So kind of a cool setup. It's a working man's cafeteria slash rest restaurant that has uh, pretty good food and you can get in and out in a big hurry so that's kind of my thoughts on that biscuits and gravy pretty darn good uh they're not on par necessarily with the uh the quick fill in kyler town or a and a or uh, those are tough to beat though and and you know they all have people waiting on you so anyway blah 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 so I'm off to off to Mooresville this morning. Drop this load off. Hopefully they'll get me something out of the area. Uh, get me back up to Michigan. Maybe I can see my kids Saturday afternoon, Sunday. So alrighty, you guys have a great one. See you next time. Even that driver is not sitting inside. He's, uh, this is his second lap around the parking lot while he's eating his breakfast. So, which is kind of a good thing because then you, you lose, uh, you burn off some of the calories while you're working or while you're eating.